Yo, what is up guys, Scarface Mike here and welcome to this ALG Circuit Series Top 16 Deck Profile, the tournament in Charlotte. Um, the Top 16 pretty much only consisted of Fire Fist and Mermaid deck, so I thought a deck profile on that would be pretty boring, but here I've got a Fire Kings deck profile, it was played by Kyle Roweeder, I think that's what his name was. And then um, in the top 16, it was, it was I think it was seven Fire Fists and like five Mermails. And then there was just one Fire Kings, one Erratic Ruler, and one Harpy deck. So here is the Fire Kings deck. Um, I didn't want to show a Fire Fist or Mermails deck because, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of those deck profiles. So here it is. Um, first of all, we've got a Triple Garanix, obviously the main, uh, the most powerful card or powerful monster in this deck. And then one blaster, um, probably only used to pop uh, pop a card on the field using that effect. And then one flame vol fire dog, uh, triple yaksha, um, used to destroy Garanix and activate its effect. And then triple barong, um, the searcher of the deck. And then uh, triple wolf bark, obviously used probably mainly to get the rank four XZ's monsters. Then the one bear and the double effect Veiler um, also adds a tuner to the deck as well if you don't want to use um, effect Veiler's effect and then triple onslaught of the fire kings uh, pretty standard in a fire kings deck always play three double rekindling um, and then triple MST one book of moon and one forbidden lance I think the one forbidden lance is probably a good idea because you don't really want to use Forbidden Lance against something like Mirror Force or something like that because that will activate a activate the uh, Fire King's monster's effects. But against the uh, D Prison or a, um, a Bottomless Trap Hole, that's what you would use a Forbidden Lance for. And then he's only got two Circle of the Fire Kings. I thought that's pretty interesting. In my Fire Kings deck, I always play three, but he's only playing two. That's a pretty strong card. I'm not sure why he's only playing two but I'm sure he has his reasons and then he's got the triple tanky uh, pretty standard as well and then uh, double generation shift I quite like this card as well I'll play this in my fire kings deck and I'll just read out its effect in case you guys do not know because not many people use this card destroy one face up monster you control and then add one card from your deck to your hand with the same name as the destroyed card so you'll probably use it with Barong or maybe Yaksha or even Garanix and then you get to add that card to your hand and then activate the one you destroyed's effect in the graveyard and then moving on to the rest of the trap cards he's got double mirror force one torrential tribute um, works well on fire king's deck one compulse and then the one call of the haunted uh, i'm not quite sure as well with why he has this card um, just got one of them and then the one solemn warning uh, one thing I'll say about his main deck, his 40 cards, is he does not have Dark Hole. He does have it in his side deck, but I would definitely have Dark Hole in my main deck because it works really well on a Fire Kings deck because it activates the effects of Barong, Yaksha, and even Garanix. So I would definitely have Dark Hole. I'm not sure why he's not playing it. He is playing Torrential Tribute as well, but I'll definitely have Dark Hole as well. Okay, now moving on to his extra deck. He's got one Chimeratek Fortress Dragon. I think that's how you say it, Chimeratek. But um, I'm not sure why he's playing this because he doesn't have um, Cyber Dragon in his side deck either. But I guess maybe it's for when he's playing, coming up against a Cyber Dragon deck. Maybe he thought he might come up against a few. One Scrap Dragon. Um, you'd use this with Blaster and Effect Veiler to Synchro Summon this card. Then one Amades and one Catastore. And then moving on to his XC monsters. They're all rank 4. He's got one Crazy Box, one Kagusuchi. Uh, double Tiger King, one number 101, double Diamond Dire Wolf, one Maystroke, one Emerald, one Abyss Dweller, and the one Cowboy. Just your usual rank 4 XZ's monsters. Then moving on to his side deck, he's got the double Max C, uh, probably for the Heretic uh, matchups, one Swift Scarecrow, the Dark Hole, as I said before, double Mind Crush, double Dust Tornado, double Overwalked. Uh, overworked, sorry, and then double Imperial Iron War, so cards kind of be banished. Um, obviously, you don't want your Fire King monsters to be banished. Double Skill Drain works really well in a Fire King's deck because obviously most of their uh, effects activate in the graveyard. And then the one Curse of the Forbidden, uh, Cursed Seal of the Forbidden spell works really well against Fire Fist when you hit Tanky. You know that is just perfect. So that is the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys um, enjoy the deck. Definitely test it out for yourself. Personally, I love Fire King's deck, so um, I enjoy doing this deck profile. So as always, this is the end of the video and as always, have a nice day.